Okay, it is uh, October the 10th, 2019. I want to thank uh, all of you ladies and gentlemen out there for your comments. So many good ones. I certainly appreciate it. I'm very grateful for all the comments on uh, what to build next. I'm going to surprise you at what I'm going to build. Quite a number of things, actually. I've been really inspired. Start out with, I thought I'd come over here to my stash and show you what I'm going to pick out. Okay. Uh, I want some modulation transformers that we're going to build not only three amplifiers, but we're also going to build an AM transmitter. We're going to use this modulation transformer right here. We'll start out with that one. And then, let's see, I think I'll pull out one of the uh, one of these to play with. These two tubes right here are duds. They have uh, open filaments. I just keep them in there for to hold the post up. And, so I'll take one of those. I have a whole box full of 813s, so I got a lot of good ones. But I, like I said, I do keep the duds around sometimes for uh, for modeling, you might say. Uh, I don't need this power supply. I'm thinking about, wow, I have so many big power transformers. I was thinking about using uh, either this one. Right here, this is 2,000 volts at 700 milliamps. Or, actually, I've always uh, toyed with these. This is a thousand volts at a half amp. And look at all these filament windings here. 6.3 volts at 8 amps, 8 amps, 8 amps. And that's what makes it really valuable. Dual primaries. It's really good. This is the filament transformer for an 813. There you go. Got to set that over there. I almost forgot that one. So we'll set that guy down there. That'll run a single one, which is all we're going to do. Or I'll show you when I get back to the shop what else. Got a couple of half amp chokes here, right there. I don't know, it might look kind of nice with these two big black transformers. This is a 1200 volt center tap, probably five, 600 milliamps. And here's a, uh, <clears throat> a matching choke to go with it. So we have these two, uh, these two big black transformers sitting in there. That'd look kind of nice, wouldn't it? But then this one right here is, is equivalent to it with the dual primaries. And I could put that in there, so you know, they're so they gotta. I want to make the right choice. I've also been thinking about uh, building a big universal power supply that I can uh, do so many, many different things with. I've got other modulation transformers too down here, like this one. This is a, a bit smaller. I don't think so. That was too little. Probably gonna end up needing one of these driver transformers too. I'm not sure which one yet. Let's see what is this one's kind of kind of hard to to work with with one hand. This one is a uh, well. This one's gonna. This one is just playing very difficult. Twenty k secondary. Hmm. Three hundred thirty k. Twenty k primary. Wow. That's that's pretty high Z, isn't it? I don't think that's what I need. Maybe something more like this as a driver. Not a one to one. Well, I'll have to pick out that one. I don't want to waste all the time over here. But I want to show you where I'm starting. And so hang on. You're going to like what I'm going to build here. It's going to be both for the audio enthusiast and the amateur radio operator. Wait till I get back to the shop and you'll see. Okay, let's get down to business. I'm just going to leave the camera set right there and uh, move a lot of stuff around. I'm going to build an AM transmitter. These are, this is going to be a mono block. Make sure you can see everything in the camera. I've got, I've got two of these, and i got two of these. So I'm thinking about building a, uh, a mono block, and then if it turns out really well, which I expect it will, I'll build a second one. Power supply for each one. I thought about a common power supply running both, but I decided not to. Here are the tubes I'm going to use. I'll have to figure out the layout. I don't want to drop them. I, I keep uh, bad tubes a lot of times. See, like these tubes over here, these are all bad. They have open filaments. I keep them for, as I mentioned, for modeling. So this one's going to be laid out probably like that. Maybe not. Ah, I like that better. Yeah, so I can see the tubes. We'll have the drivers over here. Now, a 5U4 right there in the middle. Um, at the voltage this thing will give it, um, the tubes will deliver a whole lot more power than the transformer is rated at, so uh, 
I think we should get a really good performance out of it. I'm, I'm really grateful that uh, I have these transformers to build with and a pair of these. So like I said, I got a pair of these to pair of these. So here's the other one. Here's the other one of that one. So uh, we'll build mono blocks. Okay, let's put these guys back up because they are very special. We want to break those, and then I'll show you the uh, the other amplifier we'll build, audio. And uh, let's see. Excuse me for getting in the way of everything, but we got to do that. Okay. Then the next one would be um, would be um, with. Uh, this transformer right here, this is that triad transformer that says it has a frequency response of 7 hertz to 50 kilohertz. Another similar layout. Let's see, let's put it upside down. But in a power transformer right here, same kind of layout. But in this case, I had some suggestions of using things like 807s. Well, lock, guess what these are? These are the 12 volt version of the 807 and 1625. Got lots of brand new ones. And, um, they're basically a 6L6. See, I got a boatload of these guys. We'll put a pair of those in there. Like that. And, and these are good tubes, so we have to be, we want to treat them very loving. Boy, they sure are packed nice, aren't they? We got a four little noodles in them. Uh, I don't have the, well, I do have, a, yeah, it'll probably be the same kind of a layout. And I'll probably use a transformer, uh, oh, power transformer, something like this right here. So that would be the basic layout there. So that's three audio amplifiers I've, I have got to put together. Probably use 5U4 to 6SN7s again. Mostly the Williamson design. I may use the uh, Macintosh design as, as in the uh, MA230. I found that one to be very, very successful. I actually could use these guys right here. This is those Poseidon boards. Use a 12X7 and 12U7. People experiment with them and put in a 12 BH7 or whatever, and then that would go right there. That would, I don't know, maybe that one and this one, and uh, the 6S N7s uh, with the uh, the Svetlana tubes. You tell me what you think about that. So I uh, promise you, I'm going to do the very best I can to develop. Um, Build three nice audio amps over uh, the next a few months, winter time, etc. Uh, heat up the house a little bit. So I've got lots of spares. That's very important. Okay, so there's three audio amplifier projects right there that I'm really serious about. Okay, now setting all this aside, now I'm going to build an AM transmitter. I built an AM transmitter quite a number of years ago, around 1975, they ran a 4-400 that I plate modulated with a pair of 4-400s. I had a kilowatt AM station. Well, if I use this setup right here, let me see if I'm zoomed in properly on it. Let's get just a little bit closer to it without me losing perspective of, uh, whoops, excuse me, of the bench here. So, if I use this setup right here, this is the Modulation transformer out of an ART-13, a little World War II transmitter made by Chicago Standard. Got a college part number on it. This one uses two 811s. And uh, you can even see how it's still got the original clips on here. Go to the 811s. I'll have to arrange this in such a manner that everything fits. And they drive an 813. Now, I'm not very good at building small. So, while I would like to build the RF chassis and the modulator on the same chassis, I just don't think that's going to happen. Just isn't going to happen. So, uh, I need to get a rack of some sort. Okay, I'm only going to build one AM transmitter. I'm not going to build three of them. This is a plate tank coil for it. I've built with the uh, 850A and the 852. This is the 851. And it's supposed to match like a single 813. Or 4 400. I mean, excuse me. Yeah, I think it'll be a 442. Okay, we don't use this one. Let's back off. 
and you're going to like this one. The AO guys are going to, I know what you're going to tell me to build, but let's don't use that one. Let's build something like this. Let's use this uh, 4-125 and a genuine, another genuine Collins modulation transformer made to modulate the 4-125 with, uh, well let me see, Where, oh yeah, these guys right here. Oh, you're going to love these. This is probably one I'm going to have to go with just because they, they're just so over the top. This is a pair of uh, 75 THs. You can run these things with 3,000 volts on the plate. And they're made to hook up to this guy. I don't want to drop them because they're good tubes. But they are unless I drop them. Come on, David. You can do this. Uh, this will definitely have to be on another chassis, though. The nose look nice. All lit up there and glowing. Looks like I'm missing the. Uh, oh, I don't know, I know why. Because this is the third one. I can say I'm missing the link up. So here it is. See these guys? Aren't they beautiful? Wow. It wasn't even called iMac then, it was called e Mike McCulloch Inc. Why do you call them iMac too? Anyway, they came with this transformer. They came out of my old Collins uh, 30K1. But in this case, I think the modulator will have to be on a completely different chassis. The RF deck will have to be on a completely different chassis. Now that's an AM transmitter. Not a lot of power. Like 300 watts. Something like that. But uh, those are the projects I'm going to build this winter, this fall and winter. So I got the 813 with modulated with the 811s. I got the 4125 modulated with the 75 THs for the AM. Got lots of power transformers. I think, oh yeah. I don't know if I'll do this again or not. I did it in my, in my 833 amplifier. But in the power supply, run these guys. Another pair of uh, 866 A's. Kind of nutty, isn't it? In today's uh, world of, uh, you can tell these guys need to be heated up for a long time. We got a lot of mercury floating around, but those things just glow so beautifully purple. I did that uh, in the 833 Alpha just just because they are so beautiful to look at and and uh, what's to modulate when you uh, when you talk into it. So this is the pretty much the end of this video, but this is the inspiration I've taken. You ladies and gentlemen, and all the questions and the 8,000 views and the and the number of comments, uh, I, I still may have to go with a separate power supply. I don't think I'm going to use the power supplies I've already built because the cabinet's not big enough anyway. I do want to build a, the transmitter all in one in one cabinet. Now the amplifier is going to be uh, self self-sustaining mono blocks, all three of them. And, uh, and then I think I, I may have showed this one the last time, but I don't know if you've uh, remember these these transformers over here just really really catch my fancy right here. They, these guys, whoops, sorry. These high voltage transformers over here. This one's uh, like 1800 something volts, 400 milliamps, got a 25 25 Henry uh, swinging choke, and then a fixed 10 Henry choke. Man, that'll make, that'll make a Wow, power supply. I guess I got plenty of wild wow power supply, so I gotta wrap these guys back up very carefully. But uh, that is uh, again the inspiration I've taken from the uh, conversations we've had. Oh yeah, by the, by the way, the AM transmitter. This is the exciter I'm going to be using. I don't. I tend too often to get in a hurry and then miss something. Yeah, there it is. It's a little Collins 310V, made 1947. This is what I drove my first, uh, I would say my first, but my big kilowatt transmitter with back uh, before I left Huntsville. Uses these plug-in coils to change frequency. See, this is a 40 meter, 80, I got them all, 20 meter. I think there's 20 meter coils in there right now. This thing turns on, powers up, works after 72 years. 
Look at that thing, smooth as glass. 15 watts. That's enough to drive uh, a Class C amplifier. Yeah, the AM transmitter will be Class C uh, high-level plate modulated. Uh, the modulator, the, a modulator is simply an audio amplifier, but instead of the output transformer having an 8 ohm tap, it has like a 5,000 ohm winding. It has a, a winding that matches the plate impedance of the Class C amplifier. That's the only difference between an audio amplifier and a modulator. And then there's some ways to uh, enhance the uh, the output of the AM transmitter we'll get into once we get into the AM transmitter. So there you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will uh, get busy and have a lot of fun. And uh, all I got to do, the uh, first thing is, uh, I always tell everybody, stay alive. Don't get killed by the high voltage. And the second thing is, don't burn up your tubes. Because if you burn up your tubes, well, then you don't have any and the project ends. Be safe.